Welcome to this demo of ITSM Now Assist focused on requester self-service, specializing with the Now Assist chat panel. Let's go ahead and open that panel. Chat is the conversational interface of the future to improve your user self-service and enhance employee productivity. Let's take a look at a few examples, starting with a simple external question. How do I export my PowerPoint to PDF? With Now Assist, you can actually index external content sources like support sites for commonly used employee products like Microsoft Office. And that's gonna get indexed and generate contextual answers to those users' questions. We can see that there's multiple ways to PowerPoint and it's actually going to ask a clarifying question. Do I need Windows or Mac OS? And I'm gonna go ahead and say Mac OS. And while we could obviously enhance this and make it look at the user and their CI type and what device they're on, this highlights the disambiguation capability to get users the specific answers they need. So you could see here that it tells me exactly how to do that export from PowerPoint to PDF. And it shows me the sources of where that data has come from. This is that external content, the Microsoft support site. Not only can we handle external, but we could also handle internal. What if I had this internal application called PayFlow Pro, where we've updated a release notes internally. And I'm wondering, what are the latest release notes for the Pay app? As a user, I don't remember the specific name. So I'm just calling it the Pay app. Well, the system is gonna look through that index document content in our knowledge base. And again, find just the relevant section that is the answer to the user's question and provide the answer. And in this case, we could see it's again, disambiguating. Do we want it for the PayFlow Pro X version 3.21 or a different app? I'm gonna say yes, PayFlow Pro. That was what the app was. And it's gonna bring back once again, that answer content and tell us what the source was for that content. Was it external? Was it internal? Was it a KB? Was it an attachment? So you could see it's given me the latest release notes in 3.21. It was on October 15th. Here was the updates and the sources is actually that indexed PDF document that has come back here. Now, not always will users get what they need from self-service. You know, sometimes they're gonna get upset. They're gonna say, I can't believe this. I need help now. This is so urgent. CIO demo ASAP, All right? And so our intelligence is actually doing sentiment analysis on every message that comes through. And if we detect that there's an extremely uh, high sentiment request, we're gonna hand off to a live agent. So you could see that the handoff occurred. Now, of course, I haven't signed in with a user for agent handoff, so there are no users, but this highlights the sentiment detection. So lastly, not always will answers be provided, you know, in self-service. Sometimes you just need to open a ticket and have the resolution done asynchronously. Well, with our virtual agent framework, we can now tie in our intelligent AI agents that can reason, come up with answers, and then use user context in the creation of that incident. So here in the back end, we have an incident creation agent that first is gonna process the user response for immediate deflection. You could see, thank you for alerting us, safety's top priority, you know, and it's some safety instructions on what to do. Now, we're gonna say, no, this did not, uh, you know, solve the issue, and it knows we had urgent assistance. It's no longer gonna ask us what's the urgency. I'm gonna say, no, this is, uh, not resolved and it's going to go ahead and create that incident on my behalf and of course send me a link to that incident content that gets created and so we'll see that in just a moment there it is there's my incident number and a nice link to view the incident this link of course takes me into that employee service portal and what we're going to be able to see is that on this record here with this incident that was created AI agents are still running in the back end. They're gonna do categorization. They're gonna do triage. They're gonna look for problems that this might be related to. Major incidents. They're gonna set the user's configuration item if the user had a configuration item in the system. And you could see that AI is doing all that work in the back end. They could even come up with their resolution plans and again, try to send those to the user. So the future of intelligent is not only automated, it's autonomous.
Let's dive into a demo of intelligent change management with ITSM Now Assist. Here, as a user looking at a list of changes, I'm gonna ask the question, search for changes related to Linux, because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Linux in my environment. So rather than looking through a traditional list view, I can just engage with this AI agent in natural language to find information I'm looking for. In this case, I'm gonna find a change I'm interested in, this change 4007, around a Linux change on an application, PeopleSoft CI. I'm even gonna ask it to update one of the fields directly through chat. I'm gonna say, hey, update the description to Linux change on application server, PeopleSoft. And that's gonna run an AI agent that can take any value and any field and update it on that user's behalf. So opening up that change 4007, we can confirm the description has been set to that value provided. And I can even take actions like calculating the risk for the change as I want to start planning and getting this change scheduled. So running the risk calculation will automatically do conflict detection. It'll look at the urgency and the impact of the CI. And then if I want to learn more, I can even use analysis skill to explain the risk, where it's coming from. Is it similar past changes? Is it the overall risk score and submetrics? And so seeing that it's high risk, I can even ask the system to generate a backout plan for the change. Again, interfacing with that AI agent. And that's gonna go in and create a backout plan for me as the user to review before setting it on this change request record. So I can calculate the risk, I can understand the risk, and then I can take action, like generating a backout plan to mitigate that risk. Even working with the AI agent to add an additional step around notifying stakeholders into the plan that it's generating. And it'll remember that with some of the user memory that we have so that the next time it'll be a little smarter. And so I see that it's been updated and it's added that stakeholder notification. And so I'm going to go ahead and say approve. And that's going to write directly to that change request record. So we can see here that the backout plan has been generated by ITSM now assist. Fantastic. We have the planning completed. We have a sense of the risk. Well, what's next? It's scheduling that actual plan start date and end date. Once again, we have AI agents here to help us through this process. It'll look through the available windows for this change and for the user. And based on the user's recommendation of when they'd like to schedule it, come up with an available time, time slot. So here it sees that there's no current plan start and end. So I'm going to tell it I plan to start on June 13th and end two hours later, let's say. And it's going to take that input and again, look through the available change windows and come back with an available window. So while the 13th was unavailable, the 14th was. And it's going to take it and schedule it during that window for that two hour block that I provided. So we've got the backout plan, we've got it scheduled, we understand the risk. Now as a user coming into this later, or as I share this during say a cab meeting, we can also use an AI agent to learn all about and summarize this change request in the future, giving me a quick snapshot on exactly what is this change about and allowing me to interrogate it for any fields on the change request. So maybe I just want to confirm is the CI this is impacting used in production? And again, it's going to look at that data, reason and confirm with me that yes, it is. And so we can go ahead and push forward this change with the necessary approvals. Reducing risk and enhancing velocity. 